Welcome to our channel. I hope this video is useful. Apakah doom spending? What is doom spending? What is doom spending? Doom spending adalah istilah yang menggambarkan perilaku seseorang menghabiskan uang secara berlebihan saat merasa cemas, tertekan, atau mengalami ketidakpastian. Doom spending is a term that describes the behavior of someone spending excessively when feeling anxious, stressed, or uncertain. Doom spending is a term that describes the behavior of someone spending excessively when feeling anxious, stressed, or uncertain. Orang yang melakukan doom spending cenderung membeli barang atau jasa untuk mengalihkan perhatian dari kekhawatiran yang mereka rasakan. Walaupun sebenarnya pengeluaran tersebut tidak benar-benar diperlukan. People who do doom spending tend to buy goods or services to distract themselves from the worries they feel, even though the spending is not really necessary. People who do doom spending tend to buy goods or services to distract themselves from the worries they feel, even though the spending is not really necessary. Istilah ini berkaitan erat dengan perasaan yang muncul selama masa krisis, seperti pandemi, resesi, atau ketidakpastian ekonomi. This term is closely related to feelings that arise during times of crisis, such as a pandemic, recession, or economic uncertainty. This term is closely related to feelings that arise during times of crisis, such as a pandemic, recession, or economic uncertainty. Keuntungan dan kerugian doom spending Keuntungan, walaupun bersifat sementara Advantages and disadvantages of doom spending Advantages, although temporary Advantages and disadvantages of doom spending. Advantages, although temporary. 1. Pengalihan perhatian, memberi pelarian sementara dari stres atau perasaan negatif. 1. Diversion, provides a temporary escape from stress or negative feelings. 1. Diversion provides a temporary escape from stress or negative feelings. Aktivitas belanja dapat memberi rasa puas atau bahagia sesaat. Shopping activities can provide a sense of satisfaction or happiness for a moment. Shopping activities can provide a sense of satisfaction or happiness for a moment. 2. Peningkatan ekonomi dalam jangka pendek, jika dilakukan secara massal, doom spending dapat memutar roda ekonomi. Membantu bisnis tetap berjalan dalam kondisi ekonomi sulit. 2. Short-term economic improvement. If done on mass, doom spending can turn the wheels of the economy, helping businesses stay afloat in difficult economic conditions. 2. Short-term economic improvement. If done on mass, doom spending can turn the wheels of the economy, helping businesses stay afloat in difficult economic conditions. 3. Pemenuhan keinginan. Beberapa pengeluaran mungkin membuat seseorang merasa lebih nyaman atau memberikan rasa kontrol atas sesuatu di tengah ketidakpastian. 3. Fulfillment of desires. Some spending may make someone feel more comfortable or provide a sense of control over something amidst uncertainty. 3. Fulfillment of desires. Some spending may make someone feel more comfortable or provide a sense of control over something amidst uncertainty. Kerugian 1. Krisis keuangan pribadi. Pengeluaran yang tidak terkontrol bisa menguras tabungan, menumpuk utang, 
atau mengganggu stabilitas keuangan pribadi. Disadvantages 1. Personal financial crisis Uncontrolled spending can drain savings, accumulate debt, or disrupt personal financial stability. Disadvantages 1. Personal financial crisis Uncontrolled spending can drain savings, accumulate debt, or disrupt personal financial stability. 2. Dampak jangka panjang pada kesehatan mental Perasaan bersalah atau stres karena utang dan keuangan yang tidak sehat bisa memperburuk kondisi psikologis. 2. Long-term impact on mental health Feelings of guilt or stress due to debt and unhealthy finances can worsen psychological conditions. 2. Long-term impact on mental health Feelings of guilt or stress due to debt and unhealthy finances can worsen psychological conditions. 3. Konsumsi tidak berkelanjutan Membeli barang atau jasa yang tidak perlu mengarah pada konsumsi yang tidak berkelanjutan bisa berdampak negatif pada lingkungan dan keuangan jangka panjang. 3. Unsustainable consumption Buying unnecessary goods or services leads to unsustainable consumption, which can have negative impacts on the environment and long-term finances. 3. Unsustainable consumption Buying unnecessary goods or services leads to unsustainable consumption, which can have negative impacts on the environment and long-term finances. Cara mengatasi doom spending How to overcome doom spending How to overcome doom spending 1. Kesadaran diri dan refleksi Sadari pola perilaku doom spending dan periksa alasan emosional di balik kebiasaan tersebut. 1. Self-awareness and reflection Be aware of doom spending behavior patterns and examine the emotional reasons behind the habit. 1. Self-awareness and reflection be aware of doom spending behavior patterns and examine the emotional reasons behind the habit. Memahami pemicu bisa membantu menghindari pengeluaran yang tidak perlu. Understanding triggers can help avoid unnecessary spending. Understanding triggers can help avoid unnecessary spending. 2. Membuat anggaran dan batasan pengeluaran, tentukan anggaran bulanan untuk pengeluaran non-esensial dan disiplin mengikutinya. 2. Create a budget and spending limits. Determine a monthly budget for non-essential expenses and be disciplined in following it. 2. Create a budget and spending limits. Determine a monthly budget for non-essential expenses and be disciplined in following it. 3. Cari pengalihan lain untuk meredakan stres. Mengalihkan stres dengan hobi, olahraga, meditasi, atau berinteraksi dengan teman dan keluarga. 3. Find other diversions to relieve stress. Divert stress with hobbies. Exercise, meditation, or interacting with friends and family. 3. Find other diversions to relieve stress. Divert stress with hobbies. Exercise, meditation, or interacting with friends and family. 4. Menetapkan tujuan keuangan jangka panjang. Memiliki tujuan seperti tabungan darurat atau investasi jangka panjang membantu mengarahkan pengeluaran pada hal yang lebih produktif. 4. Set long-term financial goals. Having goals such as emergency savings or long-term investments helps direct spending to more productive things. 4. Set long-term financial goals. 
Having goals such as emergency savings or long-term investments helps direct spending to more productive things. 5. Batasi akses ke media sosial dan e-commerce. Hindari terpapar iklan yang memicu impuls belanja, misalnya dengan mengurangi waktu menggunakan media sosial atau aplikasi belanja online. 5. Limit access to social media and e-commerce. Avoid exposure to advertisements that trigger shopping impulses, for example by reducing the time spent using social media or online shopping applications. 5. Limit access to social media and e-commerce. Avoid exposure to advertisements that trigger shopping impulses, for example by reducing the time spent using social media or online shopping applications. 6. Mencari bantuan profesional. Konsultasi dengan perencana keuangan atau terapis juga bisa sangat membantu. Terutama jika doom spending sudah menjadi kebiasaan yang mengganggu. 6. Seek professional help. Consulting a financial planner or therapist can also be helpful, especially if doom spending has become a disruptive habit. 6. Seek professional help. Consulting a financial planner or therapist can also be helpful, especially if doom spending has become a disruptive habit. Kesimpulan, doom spending terjadi ketika seseorang mengalihkan rasa stres atau cemas dengan cara berbelanja secara berlebihan. Conclusion Doom spending occurs when someone diverts stress or anxiety by excessively shopping. Conclusion Doom spending occurs when someone diverts stress or anxiety by excessively shopping. Walaupun perilaku ini bisa memberikan rasa puas sementara, ia membawa risiko serius bagi kesehatan keuangan dan mental jangka panjang. While this behavior can provide temporary satisfaction, it carries serious risks to long-term financial and mental health. While this behavior can provide temporary satisfaction, it carries serious risks to long-term financial and mental health. Mengatasi doom spending membutuhkan kesadaran diri, perencanaan anggaran dan mencari alternatif yang lebih sehat untuk mengatasi stres. Overcoming doom spending requires self-awareness, budget planning, and finding healthier alternatives to dealing with stress. Overcoming doom spending requires self-awareness, budget planning, and finding healthier alternatives to dealing with stress. Dengan strategi yang tepat, dampak negatif dari doom spending bisa diminimalisir dan kebiasaan finansial yang lebih sehat dapat dibangun. With the right strategies, the negative impacts of doom spending can be minimized and healthier financial habits can be established. With the right strategies, the negative impacts of doom spending can be minimized and healthier financial habits can be established. Terima kasih telah menonton video ini. Silahkan klik like dan subscribe untuk menonton video yang lainnya. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe to watch other videos. Thank you.